to another episode of Boom, the Art Patient. In this episode, just a quick one, I'll be talking about the importance of lifting weights, bodybuilding, powerlifting, weightlifting, exercise in general, to lay down bone. Um, this goes back some time actually. There's a relationship here with a discovery a couple of guys made in 1880. A couple of French physicists uh, made a discovery of piezoelectric. Piezoelectricity is when you squeeze a crystal, that's how lighters work, when you hammer or strike or squeeze a crystal. The French brothers did it with salt crystals. Um, you create electricity and it lights your gas cooker or lights your little lighter. That's how it works. Piezoelectric. Piezo is, a, um, is what they named it after a Greek guy. Anyway, how does that relate to lifting weights? Your bones do exactly the same thing because your bones are the storage site for all the calcium and your mineral crystals. And the minerals react the same as crystals, so when you put pressure through them, they create an electrical charge and that tells the body where to build the bones up. That's how you bone build, providing your hormones are working, of course which is a discussion for another day when your hormones are working. This in particular is quite important to women over 40 um, because or over 40 or over 50 after they've come off all that contraceptive pill that actually alters the osteoblasts and the osteoclasts that actually add and remove bone this becomes more important after the childbearing years for the woman. Um, I will do a I will do a video on um, the effect the contraceptive pill has on women and link it to osteoporosis because there are lots of studies that bring the two together. The contraceptive pill bringing about osteoporosis but anyway one way to build your bones ladies guys is to do weight lifting it ain't got to be that heavy because walking does the same thing of course but it's not to the same degree this is levels above um, weight lifting power lifting and bodybuilding are excellent for bone building with the piezoelectric effect working through your mineral bank. What stops this working is the fact that you eat a typical Western diet. Now, the typical Western diet is not good because it's high in sugar, high in alcohol, high in meat, and high in all that junk food that brings about a byproduct of acids. A typical Western diet makes you very acidic. Okay, spoke about this before. Your blood is strictly 7.45, slightly alkaline, strictly, strictly. Your body will do anything to keep your blood at the correct pH. If you're taken to hospital, you put on a drip immediately to stop this happening. The first thing they do, put you on a drip and stabilize the pH of your blood. Once you lose the pH of your blood, you die. Everything gets poisoned and you're no longer a battery. And you no longer operate as a battery and death becomes you. That's why they put a drip in you when you get to A&E at hospital in life threatening events. What you don't realise, with all the sugar you consume over the years, and your hips, 
you believe your hips wear out because you're on a typical Western diet, or you get, like I spoke about earlier, osteoporosis because you're on a typical Western diet. What's happening, guys, is the body is using the mineral bank, which is your bones, to stop the acids from having any effect to neutralize the acids in your blood to remain at the 7.45 slightly alkaline level which is strictly enforced by your body what am I saying guys I am saying your body would sooner give you a new hip joint osteoporosis a zimmer frame a walking stick and all the other bad joints and keep you alive rather than let your bad ways poison your bloodstream and kill you yeah that's about what I'm saying you're stripping your mineral bank you're stripping your bones the mineral bank to, to put out the fire so to speak you're using all your minerals because of your bad habits okay until the next time thanks very much see you soon